Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we've got something from 1976 called the Piper Cherokee. Now, you might be thinking, I did actually say Search and Destroy, and yes I did, but if you guys know what that plane is, it is an unarmed civilian plane, as you guys can see right there. But what I thought we would do is we'd actually take this thing into the sky, fly it around, try and land it, and then we'd actually weaponize this thing, and hopefully it'll end up being quite good. So, let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Okie dokie, so run around to the back of the wing to actually jump on the wing, there we go, go ahead and open up the door, sit inside the pilot seat, close the door, and get this thing working. So battery, anti-collision lights, there we go, very good. Uh, I don't know what this is, honestly, I don't know what that is. It might be a radio, but who knows? I have, I have no idea. Uh, we get our throttle right there, that's pretty good, magneto start stop, okay. Fuel tank selector, we'll leave that as is. Release the parking brake, and go i guess yeah i think we can actually just get out of here now all right get us going forwards please get us going forwards there we go okay throttle all the way back have we got brakes have we actually got brakes no stall warning oh god i'm driving all over the place but hopefully this is fine <laughs> my ladder gear won't stop no no i need tow brakes oh my god okay right turn Turn this beast around and get her into the sky. Come on, we got this. We got this. We know what we're doing. We're professionals. All right, here we go. Floor it, guys. Floor it. Meow. Almost a tail strike, but we are actually A-OK. -okay, and we are flying. Okay, very good. It is very quiet in here, I must say. I, I don't like it when they're very quiet, which is uh, unfortunate, but there you go. That's fine. All right, cool. We are in the sky. Very good. Instrument lights, cabin lights, what is that? Door lock, there we go. Uh, we are actually flying our plane. That is sick, nice. All right, okay, so this was supposed to be a quick test, so we're actually gonna go ahead and bank all the way around. We're gonna fly back towards the island and we're gonna land this thing on the ground and hopefully it will all be a-okay. Now, I'm assuming that it will be, but I really don't know, so I guess we'll see. Here we go, right, turn us around. This is very nice, okay, awesome. And, uh, yeah, we get ourselves landed, and then we'll weaponize this thing, get ourselves back into the sky, and we'll shoot at some boats, or something, I guess. Okie dokie, so since we're actually coming in for a landing, let's go ahead and slow it down just a little bit, there we go. Alright, we'll turn it slightly to the side, and honestly, we'll just land it, here we go. This is gonna be an easy peasy landing, this thing seems to fly really nicely, actually. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we bounced. We bounced, but we are down. Two is toe breaks, right? Oh, no! Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, right. So, if I knew how the toe breaks worked, I don't know whether they're a push and a hold or a uh, just a push. I'm not sure. But uh, if I can get out, that would be great. Let me out the door. It's locked. It's locked. I'm going to die. I'm going to die in here. All right, whatever. It's fine. Okie dokie, so what do you think this thing should be armed with? I actually think it should be armed with something relatively light, like an auto cannon or a very light auto cannon. So uh, maybe that, or maybe even a heavy auto cannon. This would be kind of interesting to see how this works. Uh, but if we actually put this on here, uh, like this, we'll actually have it on both sides as well. There we go. And we actually push this over to the other side. Hold on. No. What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. All right, cool. Uh, and we have this going there just like that. That would be pretty sick. And then, actually, no. I want light auto cannons. I do. I want the light ones. Here we go. So we'll actually put these on. We'll actually put them very close to the center. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, we'll put some, some small magazines on. There we go. All right, cool. What do you guys think of that? Bam. All right, you know what? That actually fits. That'll totally work. That's good. Uh, so those will work. And then I was kind of thinking some rockets too. So maybe a rocket launcher can fit somewhere in this thing. Uh, maybe it can even fit right next to this and not look so weird. But honestly, it's going to look weird whatever we do. Not going to lie. So I think we'll actually have it poke out the front a little bit too. There we go. All right, sick. So we got an auto cannon. We get ourselves uh, some rocket launchers. And now we just got to figure out where they can actually go. So this is the seat. Uh, oh, God. This... 
This is the seat occupied. This is the seat space bar. So the space bar is going to shoot this. It's also going to shoot this. And I guess it'll also fire the rockets. We'll just do all of them at once. For reasons. I, I don't know why, but we will. There we go. All right, very good. And we'll connect this up to there. Okay, sick. I think this will work. Okie dokie, so we're now sat in a seat, let's go and turn the batteries on, there we go, go ahead and close this up, climate control can go on, lock the door, cabin lights on, instrument lights on, there we go, anti-collision lights on as well, very good, release the parking brake, go ahead and turn the magneto on, and start the whole thing rolling, alright, here we go, so we're actually moving now, alright, that's very cool, hopefully we can get this thing into the sky, just like so, Okay, awesome, and we are flying. We have our auto cannons equipped, and we have our rockets equipped too. Very nice. Oh no, our auto cannons won't actually have any rounds in them. It won't have any rounds. Okay, that's fine though. That's fine. We'll just use the rockets for now on our target, which is over here to our left. I don't know whether you guys can see it already, but it is directly in front of us now. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We have no hood or anything like that. We're just going to be shooting uh, with our bare eyes. Oh, bear eyes? Yeah, I guess that works. All right, here we go. We're ready. We are ready and we are waiting. And fire! All right, that was pretty sick. We hit with two. We did hit with two. All right, we need to return to base. Uh, we need to actually land this thing. And then we need to uh, add ammo to our things. Is that actually a vehicle down there? It is. That vehicle's on fire. Interesting. All right, so how are we going to land this? Well, easy. Here we go. You just fly in from behind. Oh, you hit a mountain, you fall out of the sky, and there you go. Easy peasy, right? Nice. Nah, but for real, what we need to do is we need to actually add ammo to this thing. So we're going to go ahead and add high explosive and high explosive, and I guess that'll work. Let's go. Okie dokie. So we're actually going to go ahead and take off this time. Let's go ahead and spin our plane around from the start. We'll actually end up facing that way. That's good. Go ahead and jump inside. It is actually very, very easy to actually start this thing. So you turn the battery on, you turn the magneto on, and then you go. Uh, you also release the brakes right there as well, so that's good. Uh, door lock, we'll lock the door, cabin lights and all that stuff, very good. Turn to the left slightly, and take off. Alright, there we go, we're in the sky. So now, now, we're actually going to go ahead and uh, shoot at that ship once more. And hopefully this time, we'll do a lot of damage. And we'll actually sink it, I don't know. Will that be possible? Who knows? Alright, here we go. We're going into battle. Alright. Oh. Okay, well, we've shot all those off. But we don't have a... Our guns aren't working. Why aren't the guns working? Also, now that I'm thinking about it, we probably shouldn't have added rocket launchers and the autocannons to the same one. But, I mean, still. They still don't work. What is wrong with them? Why aren't they shooting? Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, that's going to be sick. Okay, so spawn it back in again, and we'll take off and we'll fly around. I didn't turn the battery on that time, uh, and the time before that, they weren't even connected to any electricity, so there you go. But anyway, close the door, go ahead and turn the battery on, go ahead and turn the collision lights on, go ahead and turn this on, go ahead and lock the door, turn the cabin lights on. There we go. You guys have seen me do that a million times, but it's okay. Uh, release the parking brake. There we go. And turn left and go. Floor it. Floor it indeed. Okay, we're in the sky. Very good. Yes. So this isn't the kind of plane that you would um, normally attach auto cannons to or rocket launchers to, but it is what we have. So there you go. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn ourselves around to the side. Make sure we don't splash down because that would suck. Uh, and yeah, I want to hit with the auto cannon more than anything, I think. But anyway, let's just go ahead and fire it. Here we go. Here we go. Yep, that is, that, that's a lot of damage, wow. Oh, okay, I unpaused it by accident, uh, and the reason I paused it there is because we were going to ram straight into the ship, and it turns out we did ram straight into the ship. But anyway, let's get on board and see how much damage we've actually done to this thing over the time. So the bridge is completely destroyed. The, uh, the room below the bridge is also pretty destroyed too, only on one side. Uh, downstairs, we need to go downstairs, I don't think I have it yet, uh, is actually completely destroyed as well, uh, and yeah, this thing should, should sink, but honestly, there's no water in here, so I'm not sure what's going on there, I don't know why, it's not leaking, but it's not leaking yet. 
Okay, we're in the air once more, and uh, yeah, I don't know whether you guys will uh, be upset with it, but uh, honestly, we don't have any sound. I mean, we do, but we're wearing headphones in-game, uh, and that means the engine doesn't make any noise. So if you guys are wondering why every time we've taken off it's not very loud, it's because we're wearing headphones, which is, yeah, silly. I don't know. I don't know if I like the headphones, but anyway, let's shoot it again. Here we go. Try and shoot the missiles first. No, okay, I've missed every single one of those. That was really bad. I was too busy concentrating on talking. Alright, that sucked. Do we have any rockets left? No, we don't. But we do have guns. Alright, turn around. And we'll use our guns. It'll be great. Okie dokie, here we go. We're coming back around. And we are going to shoot at the target once again. Here we go. Alright, ladder up. Ladder up. Oh, God. Yeah, again, we are not a fighter. So, oh, no. Oh, that was close. Uh, we are not a fighter plane, so obviously this is not going amazingly well. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool still. It is pretty cool. I like it. This plane is awesome. Okie dokie, so since we still have rounds, we're going to go ahead and turn ourselves back around, and we are going to fly towards the target once again. And uh, hopefully this time we will do a little bit of damage, because I think we've been missing quite a lot. But here we go. All right, so we're going in. We are hitting the island. And now we've hit the... Okay. Well, that didn't go well. Honestly, uh, probably not a good idea to actually weaponize a, uh, a plane like this. But um, we tried. We tried and we failed. So there you go. Can I unlock the door? I can't get out. Guys, I can't get out of the door. It's actually trapped me in. I'm going to die. I'm dying. I'm dead. Uh, okay. Okay. So yeah, what do you guys think of weaponizing some civilian aircraft? I like the idea of it just because I think it's funny. Um, but we have the auto cannons right there. We have the rocket launchers right there. We could technically add more rocket launchers if we wanted to. Uh, and we could also add more uh, guns if we wanted to as well. And more ammunition and stuff. But honestly, I wanted it to be sort of... I don't know. So you wouldn't really see it too much. And uh, I feel like they are... They are a little bit inconspicuous if you look at it from above. In fact, they're very inconspicuous. You can't see them. Um, but anyway, let's have a little look at the plane before we actually end. Uh, so we have an artificial horizon right there. It uh, is pretty sick, actually. I really like it. I do. Um, the fuel tank right, right there. Another fuel tank right there. Tachometer uh, right there. We have our airspeed uh, and all that stuff. If we go in the back, we can actually sit in the back. Um, and there is a button right here. Oh, to actually get in. That is sick. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.